The port of Durban is the largest and busiest shipping terminal in sub-Saharan Africa, handling over 31 million tons of cargo every year. Apart from the movement of goods, the port of Durban, also known as Durban Harbour, has a thriving and essential ship repair industry estimated at well over 1 billion rand annually. With over 30,000 vessels sailing South Africa's coast each year, keeping abreast of ship repair needs is an economic necessity. Dormac is a privately owned ship repair company with branches in Durban, Richards Bay, Cape Town, Saldana Bay and Valthus Bay. In the year 2000, Dormac saw the need for a new dry dock in Durban Harbour to keep up with the growing demand and to supplement the ageing facilities already in place. Now, 16 years later, Dormac Dock 1 is set to fulfil that need. Dormac Dock 1 is a multi-million rand floating dock designed and built in the Ukraine by the world's leading manufacturers. It is the first new generation floating dock in Africa, equipped with the latest technology and capable of handling 45 dockings per year. Floating docks are known for their speed and efficiency. In a more traditional graving dock, the ship moves into the dock, which is then emptied of water, lowering the ship onto blocks. In a floating dock, the dock itself is lowered, the ship moves into place and the dock is then raised, lifting the ship out of the water. Dormac Dock 1 was built in the Pilada shipyard in the Ukraine, which specializes in creating composite floating docks, combining a reinforced ferro-concrete pontoon with steel sides. Unlike the older all-steel constructions, composite docks are less susceptible to corrosion, meaning that they can operate continually year after year without having to be dry docked themselves. This composite design is just one of Dormac Dock 1's impressive features. The dock also boasts a state-of-the-art computerized system which can regulate ballast and depth in the water and adjust for different hulls. Some ships enter the floating dock with their sterns lower than their bows. This is called a trim. Dormac Dock 1's computerized system allows it to match a vessel's trim exactly, allowing the ship and the dock to connect smoothly and easily. It's not just the dock itself that is impressive. While Dormac Dock 1 was being built in the Ukraine, back in Durban, Dormac was constructing a new tailor-made key to receive it. Most floating docks are moored to the quayside at one end in what is called a Mediterranean mooring. This means that floating cranes have to be employed to lift heavy hatch covers off ship's decks and maneuver them around to the land. Dormac Dock 1, however, will be moored alongside the quay, which allows the use of two overlapping 7.5-ton cranes to move heavy equipment directly between the vessel and the land. This side-by-side -side mooring also allows Dormac Dock 1 to be more stable than older floating docks. Two poles have been sunk into the bedrock and the floating dock rides up and down attached to these poles. This eliminates horizontal movement, making Dormac Dock 1 the most stable floating dock in Africa. To create the key, Dormac has made history by removing land, increasing the water surface area. This is the first time in Durban Harbour's history that land has been removed rather than reclaimed. Dormac Dock 1 left Pilada Shipyard on the 29th of April 2016, embarking on an 8,344 nautical mile journey which took it over the Black Sea, across the Mediterranean and down the Atlantic seaboard of Africa. Towed by the tug Fair Play 33, the dock braved gale force winds off Gibraltar and even had to lay up in Saldana Bay when bad weather created a risk of freak waves and swells. Despite these delays, Dormac Dock 1 arrived in Durban undamaged, having completed a 15,000-kilometer journey in just under three months. Upon its arrival, the floating dock was maneuvered into the port of Durban, navigating not only the wide harbour mouth but also the much narrower Maiden Wharf Channel before laying up at Dormac's main repair quay. Finally, Dormac Dock 1 was moved to its berth at the specially designed quay ready to begin operations. Dormac Dock 1 opens a new era, not just for Dormac, but for Durban and South Africa.